Born into a prominent Montgomery family, Nina Pinkard was one of Alabama's foremost anti-suffragists. Her place in Montgomery society was cemented by her ancestry. Her great-grandfathers were among the first to settle in the city. Her father was a judge, and she was the great-grandniece of famed South Carolinian John C. Calhoun. Pinkard viewed the 19th Amendment as a threat to her way of life. According to her, a federal amendment would violate states' rights. Women's voting would upset gender dynamics as women became political equals to men. And the amendment would lead to racial unrest as African-American women received the vote. Therefore, in June of 1919, Nina Pinkard formed the Women's Anti-Ratification League of Alabama to block the amendment. As president of the organization, Pinkard worked tirelessly to prevent ratification, lobbying legislators, writing articles, and producing propaganda for the cause. Pinkard's efforts proved successful as the Alabama legislature rejected the amendment in September of 1919. She later reported on their success. We all look upon our movement as a mighty reform, as if we were fighting off a moral threat. We worked night and day, personally and by letter. Alabama rejected it, and every man who voted for the measure is politically dead. With both Alabama and Georgia on the side of anti-ratification, Pinkard sought to create a solid South against the amendment. She transformed her state organization into a regional one the Southern Women's League for the Rejection of the Susan B. Anthony Amendment. She made it her mission to ensure all Southern states would vote against the measure, traveling to these other states to argue on behalf of her position. Her final trip was to Nashville, Tennessee, where she set up a headquarters at the Hermitage Hotel. She opened an exhibition against ratification in which she outlined what she perceived to be the true intentions of the National American Woman Suffrage Association to cause racial unrest in the South by giving African Americans the vote. This month-long trip was unsuccessful, however, as Tennessee became the 36th and final state necessary to ratify the amendment. On August 26, 1920, the Secretary of State adopted women's suffrage into the Constitution. Pinkard continued to speak out against several popular women's rights issues until her death in 1953. Eight months after her death, Alabama finally ratified the 19th Amendment. <laughs>